What's up, folks? We're here hunting the fabled Pisgen. Now, normally she spawns over there on the skeleton runes, but today she's on a walk out here. We got to watch out that she's not going to get jumped and killed by Nicholas Reslin. I guess his name is. She's going to walk over here. We're going to engage her before it's too late. Let's go ahead and hit her with a dot. <clears throat> As you can see, she's level 15. And I'll go over our levels. We are a little bit higher. Let's go ahead and root rot her. And let's go ahead and leave this pet alone. Need to kill her. Let's go ahead and keep her rooted and rotted. It's going to be a long fight, it looks like. And she is pissed and coming for us. Let's go ahead and root her again. She's hard enough to get to spawn. That's the problem with her. Really hard to get this woman to spawn. So, got to keep the dots on her. It's going to be a tough fight here. Looks like we have enough mana. Let's get her knocked out before she starts casting a whole lot of spells. She's going to kill my pet any moment. So annoying. Oh. And this guy's trying to kill steal her. So we had to fix that. Ah, uh, that's really, really bad. That happens a lot. So Falcons had to show you what. Some of the problems are with this camp out here. Not only do you have people trying to kill steal you, you have the NPCs trying to kill steal you. So unfortunately, we had to do this the good old fashioned way. She took down the pet. Let's pop another pet real quick. Let's see, we should get, be able to get it up here. Lots of thoughts of things. A lot of NPCs will kill her in addition to other players. So this is just the kind of stuff that goes on here. And she's going down. There you go. And finally, the fabled glowing black stone. Not the way we wanted to do it, but we had to keep our bodyguard with us. Because that guy over there, if you go and look back at the video, he has kill stole me so many times because he walks right over by the ruins. Anyway, this is the item that she drops. And take a look at this. It's a very, very good item. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. And this item is called the Fabled Glowing Black Stone Intelligence 9, Wisdom 9. Look at this. This is a fabled version. It's a primary or secondary item. It'll be nice. I can replace my quartz crystal with this. I'm going to go ahead and loot this item. It is no drop. And these other ones uh, can use. I don't need them. So this is a very good item. It's uh, She's a very hard... Uh, NPC to spawn very very difficult. I'm going to go over the mechanics on how to spawn her You have to kill her very fast because people will try to kill steal her from you It's hard enough to get her to spawn here. We are level 18. We've been waiting a long long time for her and um, Make sure you have all your skills maxed out here. We tried to max out alteration uh, evocation is important too so let's go over how we get her to spawn and how this whole thing works because this is the real key to the whole thing. And I'll show you, go over the map and everything and what it took just to get her and why this is such a frustrating camp here. Okay, so here we are at the camp. This NPC targeted here called a skeleton is the placeholder. Now you have to watch out for these other mobs right here. Um, sometimes there's a putrid skeleton or something that will aggro on you. It's good to bring a tracker because they can tell if she spawns somewhere else because she actually spawns out on the hill and makes her way over here. Other NPCs will kill her. Uh, I don't know exactly which ones, but I've seen her on track spawn when I killed the placeholder. Now let's go ahead and kill this placeholder right here. Let's get rid of this guy here. And that is a placeholder. She may spawn again. You never know. We'll put up track and just to see if that is the case. Let's 
And there's also uh, Tovax and there's Varsoon. I believe they they may attack her. I don't know why that would be, but I've seen her spawn. And then right after she's been up for a few minutes, I've gone to run over there. She's dead. And then I'll find somebody like to uh, Tovax, Torvax, whatever his name is, or the other guy, Nicholas Reslin, who gives you a gigantic hit and makes you KOS to um, the Kinos people. So that is a spawn right there. Uh, you want to check the time. As you can see, it's uh, 3 a.m. Around 7, 8, 8, 8 p.m. game time, she has a chance to spawn. So you stay here, kill that placeholder. Don't kill anything else. There's about a 10% or less chance that she'll spawn. And the night hours go until about 5 a.m. If she doesn't spawn by 5 a.m., camp out, come back. But it takes a long, long, long time to get her. I mean, you could go the whole night and she doesn't spawn. you got to wait another game cycle and she doesn't spawn. And then she, finally she'll spawn. I've also had it where the regular Pisgeon spawned and the fabled Pisgeon spawned on the same spot. But of course, NPC, who is Nicholas Reslin, is level 30, will come by and basically kill both of them. So that, there goes your your fabled pigeon right there. Very, very difficult mob to get right now. So bring a tracker that can go ahead and track. And also, here, this is a, a placeholder. Watch this. See how he sits there? That's a placeholder right there. You just kill this one placeholder. Get your evocation up. Like that. Notice your evocation goes up and uh, met up. So basically, the we just have daring, we have shielding, we have symbol transal, and just the basic cleric buffs. I just used a cleric merc to buff. The pet wasn't even buffed at all. But she's not hard to get. I went with a root rot strategy. Here's the spells I went with. Let's go over these spells real quick. And you can see this really, really nice item. on a. She does spawn on a TLP server, but she doesn't drop the fabled item. You won't get the fabled unless your server is past gates, has gates of discord opened and you are in anniversary mode. So these are the, the key spells you saw me use. This spell here, Chaotic Feedback, is also very useful for interrupting her spellcasting. It has a very fast spellcasting time. And with the spellcasting time, you can interrupt her casting. But at the same time, it may break root. So here's the order in which we cast the spells. I put, well, I made a mistake here because that was not what I wanted. And that's probably why it took so long. You want to go with Choke, excuse me. So here you go. You got your Choke, open with Choke. If you're above her level, it should land no problem. Open with choke. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to put the Tosh in there. Oh, well, look at this. And here we go. Here she comes again. Okay. So, okay, round two, guys. Um, we're going to leave it just as it is. Let's get her to come over here. We're going to open with choke this time. Here we go. Round two. Hit her with the Tosh real quick. Let's get her rooted. Come on. She's rooted. And this pet here, let's dot him. It's already dead. Okay, so she's a necromancer. She's going to drop that. Let's go ahead and start interrupting her spell casting. That stops her. It stuns her. It's chain cast chaotic feedback. This is more like it. And you got to act really, really fast. Make sure you have enough mana. And Nicholas is, is dead. So hopefully there won't be any NPCs coming in. You can see right there, she's got a uh, poison bolt, which is a deadly one. Let's go get choke back on her. Save enough mana to cast another pet. And let's go ahead and we can root her. There, got her to 48%. Pet's going down. Pop it a new pet. She's just going to cast disease cloud on me, it looks like it. Sending another pet on her.
and she's going down let's go ahead and make sure she's rooted put this on her I'm trying to get a screenshot okay she's almost dead here we go one zap on your dead and one more zap should take you down wow toughy she keeps life tapping this should do it right here okay there we go again and another rusty dagger and another fabled glowing black stone so very nice we got two of them now unfortunately we only have one character out here they can pick this up this would be a really really nice item to give to another low level character but like i said i have this item already it's been looted see i have it here i'm going to replace it with this so very nice much needed on our fabled character it got intelligence up to 130. sadly we're going to have to leave this item here but now you can see how she can be spawned in real time and here it is here's another placeholder right there let's go ahead and um, knock him off well we'll just let the druid knock him off since we're out of mana and maybe we'll get another one to spawn and it's it's amazing because it's been so hard to get her to spawn and yet I got two of them right now you can see she puts a disease cloud on me let's go ahead we have a merc we did not use the merc or anything like that he'll go ahead and cure me but this is it two of her in a row during the anniversary event you can get the regular pigeon or you can get the fabled one and this is a fabled one two times in a row and it's nice to see it like this and once again we're level 18 let me go over the spells again for those of you that missed it and how it goes here this spawn position right here the one i killed the wolf in is the one you just kill that during the nighttime. now it's 6 a.m she's not going to spawn anymore the key spells to go with open with choke first went with choke next thing i went with was tosh you want to lower her magic resistance she is a necromancer she shouldn't be too much problem if you're level 18 but you may want to take her at level 15. also chaotic feedback was used to interrupt her casting it didn't do a lot of damage it's mostly to stun her and interrupt the casting i had to use two pets there's nothing else you can charm around here but i used a level 17 pet so what you want to do drop choke on her if you're above her level if you're below her level tosh put choke on her root her then go ahead and uh, when your pet dies use another bring up another pet and that's how to work be aware of nicholas res resin n-i-c-l-a-u-s like santa claus he will kill steal her i think there's other npcs that will kill steal her too you've got to really be careful nicholas is the worst he tracks right through here and will kill her on site so you got to be careful if you have a higher level character well you won't need anything but he's this is the second time he actually second or third time he's kill stole her from me so i don't know what it is he just comes appears here and suddenly is there to kill her so this spot you'll see something standing there that you want to kill do not bother with the other stuff hope this has been a great help to all you guys out there i want to show you the nice item you get it's a secondary slot item and it is the fabled glowing black stone uh, it drops every single time as you can see which is nice so if you're going to fight her during the fabled events you will get this item um, you know it's not like the regular pigeon where you have to wonder if you're going to get it or not hope this helps you all out there camper and good luck to all of you thanks for watching